You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. This would be a monster rookie season for wide receiver Roma Dunze. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Bears fans, make sure you also do me a huge favor by also liking today's episode of Keek on the Mic as well. So, Bears fans, the Chicago Bears added two stud players in the 2024 NFL Draft in Roma Dunze and quarterback Caleb Williams. And the expectation for each one of these guys, even in their rookie seasons, are sky high. I personally feel that both of these players in Roma Dunze and Caleb Williams will make an immediate impact in their rookie season for the Chicago Bears offense. And even a lot of analysts are extremely high on wide receiver Roma Dunze. And a lot of people are saying it was an absolute steal for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears to actually land a guy like Roma Dunze with the number nine overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. And NFL insider Jordan Schultz has zero doubts that Roma Dunze will be a stud right out of the gate. He even predicted that Dunze would do something few receivers ever have in NFL history. Check this out, Bears fans. I'm going to go Romo Dunze. Now, I'm biased. I grew up in Husky Stadium, Montlake Madness, but I think Romo Dunze is as special and as clean a prospect as it gets. Now, these are my rookie projections for Rome Mm. in Chicago with Caleb Williams. 1,100 yards, 85 catches, 7 tutties. Now, you might say, well, they have DJ Moore, they have Swift, they have have Ahmed, they have have Keenan Allen. Allen. But but I think the precision of Romo Dunze is a difference maker. Now, when I say that word, that's the word that Michael Penix gave me. He said, Odunze is so precise as a route runner. Yeah, he, you can good. really trust him. He uh-huh. makes all the right reads True. when it's option routes. And he said his 50-50 ball is simply sensational. So when I think about Romo Odunze in Chicago, he's going to go off. Yes, Bears fans, you heard that right. Jordan Schultz on the show speak just said that Romo Odunze would have 85 receptions, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdown receptions as a rookie for this Chicago Bears offense. This would be a monster rookie year for Rome Adunze and something that the Chicago Bears offense would truly welcome. I think Ryan Poles would be on cloud nine if Rome Adunze was able to put up these numbers in his rookie year. And he would honestly enjoy rare company if he was able to pull this off in his rookie season. Only 28 receivers in NFL history have finished a season with over 1,000 yards as a rookie. And this hasn't happened for the Chicago Bears in a very long time. Harlan Hill cracked 1,000 yards way back in 1954 as a 15-round pick for the Chicago Bears. And Roma Dunze looks to become the first Chicago Bears rookie wide receiver to reach this mark in a very long time long time and and first and foremost Bears fans anything is possible and it all depends on how quickly uh Roma Dunze not only learns the playbook and how involved he actually is in this Shane Waldron offense um I do feel like Roma Dunze will have a lot of opportunities to succeed um within this Shane Waldron Chicago Bears offense especially with all the attention being on other people. You have to understand, in other situations, Roma Dunze would be going into a situation where he would be the number one or two wide receiver on the roster, but he's coming into a situation where he gets to sit behind DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, right? You have Cole Komet, Jared Everett, DeAndre Swift. So not all the attention is going to be on him. So if he can learn the playbook and get involved early and win his one-on-one matchups, because he's going to have a lot of one-on-one matchups, Rome Adunze should absolutely feast within the Chicago Bears offense. So it makes a lot of sense why Jordan Schultz feels that Rome Adunze has the opportunity to have an absolute monster rookie season with the Chicago Bears. And that stat line would be a dream, not only for Ryan Poles, but for Chicago Bears fans. We are already really high on a guy like Roma Dunze, but if he came out and had 85 catches, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdowns, Ryan Poles and Chicago Bears fans would be on cloud nine, and you would know that you have your stud wide receiver for Caleb Williams for years to come. But personally, when I look at rookie seasons in general, 
I can personally see Roma Dunze having a stat line of 65 catches, 850 yards, and five touchdowns, which which would still be a massive rookie season for Roma Dunze. Um, knowing that you know that Keenan Allen's going to eat within this offense, DJ Moore is going to do his thing. I think Cole Komet's going to have a big year, especially when you consider that Shane Waldron is heavy on his tight ends. So if Roma Dunze is able to come in here in year one and have 65, 850 yards and five touchdowns, I think that would be a very good and welcoming um rookie season for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears offense. But overall, Bears fans, Roma Dunze is going to be a big-time weapon for Caleb Williams, not only in his rookie season, but for years to come. And I have so many high expectations for not only Roma Dunze, but for Caleb Williams as well. In a perfect world, Roma Dunze does come out and has what Jordan Schultz thinks that he will have. 85 catches, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdowns. I think Roma Dunze has that ability to be that big-time weapon for Caleb Williams as soon as year one. I think they already have an outstanding chem chemistry and connection. Um, they've already been working out in the offseason. I think it will carry over into training camp as well. I just cannot wait to see these two work, not only in their rookie year, but for years to come. And, and that's obviously the plan for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears moving forward. That's why they took Caleb Williams at one and Roman Dunze at nine to pair these guys together for years to come. and to put the league on notice for years to come for the Chicago Bears offense. And once again, Bears fans, anything is possible. I'm not going to sit here and say that Roma Dunze cannot reach that mark of 85 catches, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdowns. When you look at a guy like Roma Dunze, he's big, fast, physical, um, can beat you at the line of scrimmage. He can win those 50-50 balls. Um, he can beat you on any route that he wants to. He is the complete wide receiver. Once again, people are calling him a bigger version of DJ Moore. If that is true, I think he's going to absolutely feast in his rookie season in the National Football League for the Chicago Bears. Once again, all the attention is not going to be on him. The attention is going to be on DJ Moore. The attention is going to be on Keenan Allen, Cole Komet, Jared Everett, DeAndre Swift. Oh, Caleb Williams. So Roma Dunze will have his opportunities. He just has to make the most out of his opportunities. So if he can capitalize when he has those one-on-one -on -one matchups, I think Roma Dunze is going to have a massive rookie season for the Chicago Bears. So overall, Bears fans, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. I want you guys to predict Roma Dunze stat line down below in the comment section. Once again, I, I would love to see him go for 85 catches, 1,100 yards, and seven touchdowns, but my prediction for Roma Dunze is 65 catches, 850 yards, and five touchdowns. Let me know your stat prediction for Roma Dunze down below in the comment section. But other than that, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, be back for our all new Bears podcast right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And as always, bear down. You've been listening to Keek on the Mic, a podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Thanks, guys, and Bear Down.